Can you flip your empathy on and off like a light switch? Well, that just might make you a psychopath. A number of traits are common to a psychopath, chiefly antisocial behavior, a diminished capacity for remorse, and poor behavioral controls. Now let's talk about that diminished capacity for remorse for a second. A normal human brain has a working mirroring system. We have all of these mirror neurons that fire up and it allows us to feel someone else's joy and it also allows us to feel someone else's pain. But in a psychopath, you have a broken mirror system. So they are able to administer pain, torment, etc., to a victim because they cannot feel their pain. There's a complete cutoff from any compassion or empathy. Now that being said, we still have a lot to learn about the brain of a psychopath. For starters, it's kind of difficult to get a bulky fMRI machine and a potentially dangerous psychopath in the room at the same time. But now the Social Brain Lab at the University Medical Center of Groningen in the Netherlands uh, has actually pulled it off and the results shed some interesting light on the empathic abilities of psychopaths. They conducted two experiments. In the first, psychopaths and non-psychopaths were asked to view a film, a film in which people are doing various things. And to no one's surprise, the psychopaths engaged their brain's mirroring system far less. But in the second experiment, that's where things got really interesting. This time, once again, psychopaths, non-psychopaths, both groups were asked to view a film, except this time, the psychopaths were expressly told, hey, be sure to empathize this time, think about what the individuals in the film are feeling and doing. And this time, the brain scans, the differences between the two brain scans almost completely disappeared. So in other words, a psychopath's empathic abilities don't kick in automatically. It has to be turned on through conscious will. And this potentially sheds a lot of light on the way psychopaths behave, on the manner in which they uh, can manipulate and seduce individuals and make them do what they want. The idea here is that they're not just putting on a, a fake mask, this you know so-called mask of sanity. The mask that they're putting on is composed of genuine emotions, genuine compassion and empathy. But the thing is, they have to think about it to put that mask on, and then they can take it right back off again. So what do you think? If you could turn your empathy on and off the flip of a switch, would you do it? You think that would make your day more productive if you didn't have to worry about what other people were thinking about? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below. You can leave a video response. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can keep these videos flowing at you.